Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for joining my video on compositions of transformations. Here we're going to talk about doing some translations and reflections, as well as translations and rotations. And really a review lesson of the previous lessons that you've learned. So you kind of want to put together those ideas of how do I reflect over certain values such as an axis or y equals x or how do I do my rotations. The translations, knowing that the vector that you're shown is the x translation and the y translation in that order um, this should be pretty smooth long copy things down as you need to and hopefully we do pretty well here so we're going to start off on the right hand side and then we're going to take a look at the problems on the left and then we're going to do some extra practice together so the first one i can see my original image of the triangle abc if i wanted this triangle here to undergo a translation of negative two two that would mean i'd have to move the unit two units to the left, that's what my x translation is telling me to do, and then my y translation is telling me to go two units up. So if I was to take that figure ABC and move it two units to the left and then two units up, it would be in this spot. And you can kind of count right over. If I was taking point A and moving it two units to the left and then two units up, it would be in this point of negative three, four. And then everything else would go in that same translation pattern. And you can see exactly where those points would be. Now, if I was to take that new figure, that new image, and have it undergo a reflection in the x-axis. So what that means is I have to take that triangle, reflect it over the x-axis, have it flip right over, which would mean this a prime is going to become a double prime over here in the third quadrant. So if a prime is at negative 3, 4, and I reflect it over, my new image, a prime, would be at negative 3, negative 4, and so on, b prime and c prime. So if I was having this original image here undergo a translation of negative 2, 2, and then a reflection in the x-axis, this would be my final result. Notice my image gets my primes. Notice the next image gets double primes. Same thing here, original image, a, b, c, it's the same triangle as the previous one. If I had this triangle undergo a translation of 1, negative 3, 1, negative 3 means I'm going to go to the right, I'm thinking about your right, to the right one, and then down three units. So if I took this figure and transferred to the right one, and then down three units, my figure would be here, along with A prime, B prime, C prime. Then if I wanted to rotate this figure 270 degrees, Remember, rotating a figure 270 degrees would be like it rotating 90 degrees and 180, or 180 and then a 90. But coordinate-wise, it's y negative x. So if I was to look at each one of these new ordered pairs for my a prime, b prime, and c prime, and then put my new points as y negative x, it would rotate it from the fourth quadrant through the first, second, and then into the third. It actually is going to be here in this form. Okay, so if I was to take this figure and rotate it 270 degrees, my A double prime, my B double prime, and my C double prime would end up being in this. Okay, so now we've got this new figure, ABC, this triangle, and we're gonna do the composition of these two transformations. We're gonna translate it one, two, and then do a reflection in the y-axis. So what we need to know from our previous problems that we did before, if it does this translation of one, two, what does that mean to do? That would mean to move it one unit to the right and then two units up. So if I did that transformation, it would look like this. One unit to the right, two units up. And for every point, it would be the same. One unit to the right, two units up. One unit to the right and two units up until I have my A prime, B prime, C prime. The second comp um, transformation that I'd be doing in this composition is a reflection over the y-axis. So here I have my y-axis. A transformation over the y-axis means that my y-coordinate stays the same, but my x-value changes its sign. So from going from negative 2, positive 3, I would then go to positive 2, positive 3. And my reflection would look like this, a reflection over that y-axis for a prime, b prime, and c, I'm sorry, a double prime, b double prime, and c double prime. If I look at the table of values of these two figures that we just created, Notice from the original figure of negative 3, 1, I would be adding 1, adding 2. 
And that's where there's this A prime, B prime, C prime would come from. If I'm reflecting over the y-axis, notice the change. The change then just simply becomes that the x values becomes, become its opposite sign. So negative 2 becomes positive 2. And negative 2 becomes positive 2. 0 would just say 0. And notice all the y-coordinates stay the same. Now let's, we're going to take this new figure, translate it for 0, where the reflection over y equals x. So a translation of 4, 0 would mean 4 units to the right and 0 units up or down. So it just kind of stays there. It's just simply a horizontal change. So my new figure after a translation of 4, 0 would be at this point, all points 4 units to the right. That's all 4, 0 would tell you to do. Now a reflection of y equals x would mean that my x and y coordinates flip. They reverse each other. They switch spots. I don't change any signs or anything like that. So if a prime is at 1, 3, then a double prime would be at 3, 1. It would be right here. Okay, that's where a double prime would be. If b prime is at 1, negative 2, then b double prime would be at negative 2, 1, which is here. If c prime is at 3, negative 2, then c double prime would be at negative 2, 3. And those are our points. So the translation of 4, 0 would mean that I have to find these ordered pairs and add 4 to every x. And then notice the reflection, y equals x, just means I'm simply switching the x and y values. Now let's take a look at translations and then rotations. So a translation of negative 3, 4 would mean I take this point and move it 3 units to the left, 4 units up. So this is where a prime should be. Okay. 3 units to the left, 4 units up, B prime. 3 units to the left, 4 units up, C prime. Now, a rotation of 90 degrees means I'm going to be taking this figure and I'm going to be rotating it this way. Okay, It's going to go to the left. So that triangle that you see is mostly in quadrant 1 is about to get put into mostly quadrant 2. If I was to take a look at this point here of 0, 4 at A prime, the rotation of 90 degrees would be negative 4, 0. I'm switching the x and y value, and I'm making my, uh, my y value here become my x negative. So it's negative y, x. A prime, a double prime would be here. B prime at 0, negative 1 would become 1, 0. So I change the sign of the y to become my x, and I keep the y value, I'm sorry, the x value as my y. And then C double prime would be in this point here. So going from negative 3, 4, translation, 3 units to the left, 4 units up, and then rotating at 90. And again, you can see it becomes negative y, x, negative y, x, negative y, x. i got to fix that. It should be 5. All right. That point I have. Last one here, translation of negative 1, 3. So it would be me taking this point, 1 unit to the left, 3 units up. 1 to the left, 3 units up. 1 to the left, 3 units up. A rotation of 180 is just like the reflection of um, in the origin. Reflection in the origin, the same as rotation of 180, means that both signs become negative, change both signs. So if it's A prime at negative 2, 4, then my new point would be at positive 2, negative 4, down here. Positive 2, negative 4. Same thing with B prime. If B prime currently is at negative 2, negative 1, then my new point is at positive 2, positive 1. And if I have C prime at 0, negative 1, then my new point becomes 0, positive 1. Again, you can see the translation from the original points, what this would look like. And then the rotation is simply making all of the values negative. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please take a look at my other videos as much as you may need them. And thanks.